Hi, welcome to another StudioX video. And today we are going to create a digital assistant using Studio X. For which let's create a blank task and name it as digital assistant. Meanwhile, it will create the workspace for us. Let's see what the use case is. So right now, as you can see, uh, in my local folder, I have three files. One is an Excel file and two Word files, right? So if you see these files, this Excel file, this is how it looks like. So now we have few rows which has data related to day, time slot, name, and the email. So what we're going to do is for each of these day, we have a defined word template. So for Monday, we have this word template, something that looks like this. So production webinar, digital assistant is what we are creating. And this particular word template is what has to be filled from this Excel file. So day is Monday. So we have to pick the Monday word template. So as you can see, we have two types of word templates, Monday and Tuesday. So as for the row value in, in a column, which is first row has Monday, we will pick up this particular column. And then we have to fill these values, which is first name, day, and time slot from that particular row. So time slot, which is 10, will go here. And the day, which is Monday, will go here. And then the first name, which will be the first name plus the last name, you can see, or maybe the first name only, will go here. Right. After we are done uh, editing this particular word template, then what we're going to do is we want to send this in the mail body to this particular email address. We have to repeat these steps for all the rows. So pick the day and based on the day, pick the word template, edit that particular word template from these values of the row. And then after you are done with editing the word template, send the email to this particular uh, person with the word, word file and the email body. So let's see how we can do, do this with using the Studio X. So first, what we have to do is we have to read this particular file, which is called as a registration file. So for which we will use the resource known as use Excel file. So you can go to the Excel card and uh, drag this particular resource into your workspace. Then next thing you have to do is connect with that particular Excel file. So copy the path where the file is. So there you go. So this is where your path is, where your file is. So just go and pick the Excel file. It will be connecting uh, the Excel file, and now you can access all the data in your Studio X. So now we have to iterate each of these row of the Excel, for which we will use an activity call for each Excel, right? So for each Excel row is what we will use the activity and make sure to drop it inside the use Excel file resource. Okay, so for each Excel row, what all uh, actions we want to repeat is what we are going to put inside these particular sequence. So for each current row, it, it represents that for each current row in your iteration. So in the first iteration, this will be your current row. In the second iteration, this will be your current row. Okay, so for each of the current row, what we're going to do? Okay, in range. In range is what you're going to mention that particular sheet you are reading to, to iterate. So you can say, data sheet is what you're iterating. So if you go, data is your sheet name. So you will mention the sheet name where your data is that you want to iterate. So you are done with this. Checkbox six has headers because this is to let a robot know that your first row is not the data, but it is headers. So do not consider this as the data and start taking up the data from the next row. Okay, no, so, so now we are done with the iteration. So what we want to do for each of these row is we want to copy the third template based on the column number A, right? So if you see Monday, right, the column A value for each of the row, which is Monday, Tuesday, is same as your word template name, Monday and Tuesday. So let's make this path dynamic and copy these files based on the value from the Excel. So let's go back here to copy the file. We have something known as copy file. So in the file card, you can find that particular activity. So there you go, 
copy file, drag it inside the for each Excel row because we want to repeat for each row. Okay, so copy file from where do you want to copy? Either you can browse or you can mention the path from here directly. So go to text and where your file exactly is, or you can say the word template. So there you go. No, yeah. So we are done with this. We have given the path where the word template is. Now you can see the path is still the folder. Now we want to mention the file name that the Monday or Tuesday has to be picked based on the value of column A, right? So let's do this. So next is put a backslash to know that here the folder ends and next is your file name. Click on the plus button and say current row day, right? So what is gonna do is till the digital assistant, it will, since the path is completely reusable or same. And after that, uh, it is being dynamic. Uh, so current row day is what will be the Monday in the first iteration and then it will be Tuesday in the second iteration. So it will pick as per that. Okay. Next thing is you have to do is don't forget to put the extension of your file that you are picking up, right? Monday is what will be picked from this column A2 and then the extension is what you have to add in the file path. So this file is what we want to copy. So click on the save button and to now where you want to copy. So we want to copy in the email folder here. So why we are copying this file is because these are acting as our template. We do not want to, to save them. And so that, you know, for each of these row, we want to just copy that particular template and save it as per the name of that person to which we have to send the email, okay? So that is why we just copy and we work on that file and then send it to the uh, to the relevant person. So this is one of the best practices that you should follow, right? So we want to copy into the email folder. So again, let's copy the path still here and click on the plus button and go to text and mention this is where you want to copy. Now here the folder ends. So again, give a slash. Okay, now let's create the new file name. So what is your new file name? So let's say this is your current row. Uh, first name. Okay. And then you want to put an underscore. Then you have something called its current row last name. And then you want to put underscore. And then you want to have current row day also. Okay, so this is what your new file name will be. So you will be copying the template from here, which is Monday in the first iteration and copy to the email folder and also rename it. And the new name of the file will be the current row first name. So then in this case, it will be Andrea and William. And then Monday is gonna be a new file name. And then don't forget to put the extension. Now click on the save button, right? Okay, so we are done with copying the file. Now, next thing is we have to update the file, the new file that we have copied, not the template, right? So for that, what we're gonna do is we will be using Word resource to connect with a Word file. So use Word file resource is what we're gonna do next. Make sure to put all of these activities inside the for each Excel row because we are repeating all of these actions for each row. After copying the file, we want to update this file, the one we have renamed after copying, right? So just take up this whole path and click on save. Okay, so the file that you want to update is the newly renamed file. So paste your path, which we have created just now. So we are done. We have connected with the new word file. Now, next thing we have to do if you open the file is we have to update this particular placeholder, right? So first name is what a placeholder is. For this, we have an activity called replace text in document. So let's go here. Now, what we are searching for, we are searching for the first name text in the Word document, and we want to replace it with the value from the Excel. Now, if you come here, you can see that the exact the first name is also your header's name. 
So you can see the similarity, right? The, the header name and the placeholder name are currently same. So this is what you can utilize in, in, your, in your automation. So search for what you're searching for, click on plus button and then Excel, indicate in Excel. And yeah, first name, click on the confirm. Okay, so once you confirm, so it has taken, right? Excel data sheet C1, C1, C1 is first name. So first name is what we are searching for in the word template, which is this placeholder. And we want to replace it with the value from the next row or the current rows data, right? First name. So replace it with your current row, first name column value, done. Okay, so make sure to uncheck this because uh, this is just as a, as a one of the best practices because if you're working with, with the Word file and wherever it is gonna see this particular placeholder, it will replace everywhere. So until unless you're very sure that you want to replace all the occurrence of that particular uh, placeholder, make sure to uncheck that, okay? So we will be using the same activity now to replace the other values. Uh, next thing that we have to update is now is the day, right? So let's see where our day is. I'll again go and into the Excel, indicate in Excel. Uh, the day is the A1. So click on the confirm. Done. And the, the value of day is from the current row day, right? Now we will be using the same activity. So copy and paste. The next thing that you want to update in the world template is the time slot. So time slot, uh, I again indicate in Excel where exactly this placeholder is. So column B header is what the placeholder is. So again, click on this and you want to replace it with the value from your current row and time slot column value. So we are done updating the word file, right? So once you update, it will automatically save. Now, the next thing that you want to do is we want to send the mail to the relevant person and we want to attach this word file in the email. So for that, we will use an activity called, uh, so for which yeah, we have to first connect with the desktop Outlook app, okay? So you have other options as well. You can uh, send the, the, your email to the Gmail account or the Outlook 365. In this example, we will be using a desktop Outlook app. So let's connect with the uh, local, locally installed desktop app. So you can either choose the default email account or any other configured um, uh, account of your email. So I'll be using my account. So you can change the reference or you can leave it as it is. So once you have connected with your desktop Outlook app, next thing is you want to send the email for which you have an activity called send email. So there you go, send email and drag it inside the use desktop Outlook app resource. So it should be within this, okay. Now account, you can keep as it is Outlook account. Now, to whom you want to send, your value will be coming from the column E, which is email. So there you go. To whom? You go Outlook, not Outlook, the current row, and the email. So the value will be picked from this particular column. And then the next thing that you want to do is create the subject. So in the subject line, we will just mention protection webinar. Okay, so let's go back here. And in the subject line, click on the plus button and go to text. And there you go. This is what your subject is. Next thing you want to do is create the body. To create the body, go and click on the Word document and mention the path of your Word document that you want to put inside the body. So this is what a Word file was. So let me just copy the path. So here I go. And yes. Now, there we go. Click on the plus button again, click on the text and we are done. Click on the save button. Now, in this, in this particular scenario, I am keeping the save as draft as it is because uh, these emails are, we are not sure. These are just the dummy emails. So if you, you want to really send the emails, make sure to uncheck this. Otherwise the email will be saved as the draft. So we are done with 
with the robot path. So let me run the robot. And before that, let's just close all the files so that we have no issues. Okay, so it will read the registration file and for each file, it will be picking up a particular template, word template, copy it and rename it. And after the renamed and the copied word template, it will update the values from the Excel. And then finally, it will send the email to the particular person attaching the word template in the body. Let's click on the run button and see how the bot performs. Okay, so the bot has started running and as we can see, now let's go back here. The first file has been now copied. So the first name, last name and the month or sorry, the day. So this is what we actually tried. So, so for each of the file, now as you can see the taskbar, the word file is getting open and getting updated, if you see. So this is done. Hi, Andrea, you are invited to join the production webinar. So yes, the, the, the updation is done and a new file is created for the Tuesday day. And now this particular word template is getting updated with the time slot and the name. And again, this is done. And now for each of these row, this will be repeated. Now for the Monday, again, a new file is getting updated with the time slot and the values. Okay, so now it will be also sending the emails from our Outlook account, which we will check after the bot executes all the, uh, all the actions. And yeah, so this is a fourth file that is being created. Now the fifth one, Again, we are seeing that the word template is getting updated with all the values from the Excel. So here we go. And now the next file is being updated again with again, all the values. So till now we have six, six items and now the seventh item is also being created. Okay. And yes, we are done with the seven items now. So for, you can see for each of the person, there are two files being created, each for the Monday and Tuesday, and it is picking up the, the, the value and taking the template based on the, the value from Excel. We have not done any hard coding in the robot. We have not mentioned that we want to take all the time, the Monday or the Tuesday file. It is all depending on the Excel data that which file has to be picked, right? So this is one of the advantages uh, while you're creating a dynamic path. So the, the run is successful. Now let me go back to the outlook. And now you can see in the drafts, we have 800 items. Now you can see the subject line is protection webinar. And we have for each person, we have this word file data being attached with the name and the day and the time slot, right? So for this person, again, it is something for the Tuesday template. Then this is the Monday template for the same person. For Norman, again, we have Tuesday template and the Monday template. So similarly, for all the rows, we have now successfully sent or the emails. So in today's uh, use case, we have actually seen three applications, how they seamlessly integrate and help you to create a digital assistant. The three applications we use were Excel, Word, and the Outlook app. That's all for today. Thank you so much.